Hey everyone, this is Coach Jordan from Jay Gansamerl RFC. Welcome to the first edition of a new series where I will be taking some events from professional games and breaking down the technique. My hope is that this will help younger players understand many of the basic techniques to perform a lot of in-game actions. Today, we will be looking at Montpellier's second goal in their 3-2 loss against Marseille in the opening League One weekend. Let's take a quick look at the goal prior to breaking down the technique. As the ball comes out wide, Laborde is in a very difficult position to be shooting from. He's already made up his mind and decides that he wants to try and curl the ball far post. As I tell all of my players, every time you kick a ball your hips swing even a little bit. That on top of curving the ball means that you really have to aim outside of that post to get it to swing back. Let's take a look at how Laborde approaches this. As he steps up, he's going to put his plant foot close to the ball as it's trailing away from him. And as, by the time he kicks, notice that his plant foot here is facing up at about the edge of the six at the end line. And his foot is now curling around the ball. So the idea is that the ball will probably start around here and he'll get around it enough that it'll curl back to the far post. And that's exactly what happened. Let's take another look at it. Let's do this very slowly. So he gets the ball out wide. Settles, pushes it away from him. Steps up to the ball. Plant foot next to the ball. Facing just left of the goal. Foot curls around it. Notice how his foot is open as he goes around the ball. Ball curls way wide straight over the keeper and right in. So to summarize, the difference between a curling shot like this and a normal straight on shot is while your hips are going to swing for a left footer a little bit to the right, he really has to open his body up more away from goal so he can really get that wrap around the goalie, not just straight at him. So your plant foot again, you want to be facing a little probably about four or five yards outside of the goal if you can curve it as much to get that control to get it around that keeper again look at that line starts over here and ends up right in the top corner let's look at it one more time I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope this at least helps some of you. Um, I have a few of these saved and this is something that I plan on doing a few times a week. Uh, so please give me any feedback and please like and subscribe. Thank you.